What's what? the matter? <laughs> oh, Adam. Brooke. Come in. Thank you. Jack. Hello, Adam. Look, I know it's early. No, it's oh. never too early for a long walk. Jack, would you mind going ahead and I'll catch up with you? Not if that's what you want, no. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see you later. I heard about Haley. I, I don't know where to begin. Uh, Haley's crushed. I know. Did you hear about the letter? Yes, I talked to Natalie. She was, uh, she was very distressed. She ought to be. It was just a, a very unfortunate way for Haley hear that kind of news. The worst, the absolute worst. Look, I'm sure Natalie didn't mean for this to happen. I'm, what probably happened, she was so stunned by what was in the letter, she just didn't think. It's my fault for ever befriending Janet. Can you imagine the insensitivity involved in writing down information like that in a letter? Well, I think that we all know that Janet's a disturbed woman. Why did I ever think I could talk to her? I don't know why that you would ever trust her with information her. like that. I didn't that. trust her. I didn't tell her. You think I would reveal something that, that Arlene and I had struggled so hard to keep hidden? Well, then how did she... How did she, she guessed. She guessed? She guessed, yes, yes. It was not quite that simple. She, she lurked and she listened and she snooped around until she sensed something big and then she made her move. What do you mean her move? She tricked Stuart into telling her. Janet may be disturbed, but she's very cunning. Probably comes from a lifetime of learning how to manipulate and control people. I, I worked so, so hard to get Haley to think of me as something less than a monster. Now it's just gone. It's just gone. How am I ever going to get her to trust me again? I think that you can start. By laying all your cards on the table, if you tell her how, how Janet managed to get that information, you apologize to her for hearing the news that way, and you, you explain to her why you kept it a secret. She won't listen to me. She will listen to you. Eventually, no, I wouldn't, she... I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on that. Adam, Haley's a very inquisitive young woman. All right, I know that eventually she's going to want to know more. She is. I'd like to think you're right. Listen, Adam, you should defend yourself. You should. All right, I mean, keeping your relationship a secret was a great sacrifice for you. And she should realize that. She should know how hard it was for you and that you were shielding her, you were protecting her memory of the man that raised her. No matter how well I explain it, no matter how noble my motives, it's not going to erase her pain. It might help. All those years, years of lies, there's nothing whatsoever good can come from keeping, holding on to a lie like that. I don't know. I don't know. It cut my heart in two. You see that little girl's face? She felt betrayed. And it was all so unnecessary. Arlene should have told her. She should have told her years ago. I was worried. Why? You gave me my walking papers? I won't. And when you didn't join us after so long, we went on and watched a soccer game. Soccer? Yeah, you know, soccer. Oh. In other words, uh, you were not gone for as long as you were because uh, Adam came over? No, no, I happened to be a very good match. Oh. Not the fact that Adam and I were here talking alone together. Honey, you can talk to whomever you want anytime you want. Right. Adam doesn't bother you in the least. Nope. You're talking to Adam, does not bother me in the least. It's a very tolerant attitude, Thank and you. one that's very well hidden, I yeah. might add. 
Excuse me? Well, I don't know. You seem to be a little provoked earlier. No, 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 no. I just think that's your overactive imagination at work. No, no. I think that's my well-honed powers of observation. I think you were steamed. I was steamed. I was steamed. And you enjoyed that, didn't you? You yes, enjoyed I did. that. You did. Yes, I did. And you know why? Because I am expected to gracefully accept your having an innocent drink with the wounded Erica in your bedroom. She really cut her finger, okay? Yes, I know, and you had to give her first aid at your bedside, which, believe me, Jack, I understand. But my innocent conversation with Adam does not begin to compare. And you sulked no, as if no, it did. No, I did not sulk. Look, Brooke, I don't even know how to sulk, okay? And I wasn't even irritated by it. Of course not. No. You know what irritates me? I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with the fact that all your friends seem to be men. Why is this? Oh, and you're not surrounded by a bevy of beautiful women, many of whom, I might add, are lonely divorcees. Uh -huh. Brooke, Brooke, Pichek, that's an occupational hazard. I'm a lawyer. Yes, yes, and when you finally got around to expanding your practice, who did you hire? You hired a gorgeous woman. So you've noticed. Well, I wonder what that means. It's just my powers of observation asserting themselves. Nothing more. Come here. Oh, don't. Come here, you all seeing beauty, you. Mm. Mm. Don't you know that you are the only beautiful woman in the world for me? Don't you know that there is no other man for me? I love you. I know. Kiss me. I will. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, Craig. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, I can't complain. Well, you could, but yeah. what good does it do? You? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. How's everything at Cortland Manor? Uh, did Palmer get back from his trip yet? Soon. Soon. How's Dixie? Uh, well. Hey, what's the matter? Is something, is something wrong? I moved out, Brooke. I know we had talked, and you thought there might be something developing between the two of us. You know, I did too. But Dixie's made it clear that there's no future for us. Why? You know why. Because of Tad. Dixie is convinced that the feelings that she has for me makes her disloyal to Tad. So sh she backed off? Completely. And I fought her on it, but I was just making her life miserable. And you moved out? What choice did I have? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Yeah, you and me both. I thought Dixie finally had found some happiness. No, well, I guess she's just not ready for happiness. Well, this must be very hard on you, too. It is. You know, I, uh... What the hell am I doing? I am dumping all this Tad Dixie stuff oh, on no. you, of all people. It's okay. It's okay. You don't think it's possible that she'll change her mind? I mean... No. No, uh, it's over, and there's nothing I can do about it. But thank you for listening. I've got to get back to the office. Oh, um, sure. Goodbye, bro. Bye, Craig. Barbara and Travis had a wedding day. Oh? Yeah, around Thanksgiving. She must be very happy. I don't believe I've ever seen her happier than she is right now. I mean that. It's, uh... Oh. 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 Baby, baby. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, there we go. You know, this trip to Seattle put a lot of things in perspective for me. You want your mama? There you go. Yeah. Hey. I was just saying, Barbara loves Travis, and I think that maybe she never stopped loving, loving him on some level. At least now I'm able to accept it a little better. I'm, I'm getting wise in my old age, kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad to be back with you and Jamie. I missed you. Oh, we missed you, too. Didn't we? Can I hold this guy for a second? Yes, of course. Please do. Hello, Please Jamie. do. <laughs> yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Dad's home. 
Were you a good boy while I was gone? Yes, he was very good. Well, that's good. That's very good, because I got a present for you, Guy. It's in the bag there, Mom. Oh, a present? A little something a to present. get you ready for football season. What is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. You like that? And look at that. Oh, say thanks, Dad. You thanks. tell your Mom you're going to be a quarterback when you grow up, all right? Huh? Tom, you really don't mind being his legal guardian. He's good. His legal father. Do you? No. Mm -hmm. I like being Jamie Fairbanks. That's a weird question. Are you and Jax had a date while I was gone? No. He wants to adopt Jamie? Is that what this is about? No. Uh, no. It's, I mean, we've talked about getting married. It's certainly not on the agenda anytime soon. If ever, I, I mean, even if we did get married, we would never want him to take your place in Jamie's life. Here you go. Here you go, sweetie. So what's it about? It's about Adam. Adam? Haley found out that uh, Adam is her biological father. Oh. And Natalie said she hasn't been taking it very well. She's very angry. And uh, she feels like she's been lied to her whole life. Or do you think this is going to happen to Jamie someday? It happened to me. With my mother. The situation's completely different. I mean, it, and even the situation with Adam is different. It, I just don't think that this is a reason to go public with the fact that Tad is the natural father. It, it's just a different circumstance. For one thing, Tad is not going to come by and claim this child as his own. That's what I told Jack. But I just keep wondering if maybe I am being selfish. You are not being selfish. No, maybe I am being selfish. And from, from the time I found out, the, uh, yes, from the time I found out that I was pregnant, this was like this was my private miracle. This was the baby. This was the baby that they told me I could never ever have. I mean, it was like this was the greatest gift that Dad could have ever given. But you have a right to raise your son any way you choose. I know that. I know that. But I'm wondering if my keeping it all to myself is. Maybe it is selfish. I mean, the fact is, if he ever finds out the truth, he will resent it the way that I did and the way that, that Haley did. You have years to make that decision, Brooke. I know, but what about the rest of his family? What about Opal and the Martins? I mean, they have their rights, too. As far as they know, I'm the child's father, and everybody else in town believes that, except for Jack. I just hate the lies. I hate the lies. Yes, yes, I do. I understand. Yes. But it's a lie that we told for very good reasons. Hey. Whoa. And it's a lie that everyone has believed for months. Nobody knows better than I that it takes a lot more than just biology for, to be a father. So you think that we should stick to it? Mm. I'm just saying that I think that telling the truth at this point might cause more harm than good. No, I, you're probably right. But, Brooke... No, no, I think you're definitely right. You are. What I'm saying, <laughs> whatever you decide, I'm going to stand by you, okay? And you too, kid. I know, I know you will. <laughs> I just need to talk about it sometimes. That's all. Well, that's what I'm here for. I know. Oh, <laughs> we're glad you're home. Yeah. Hey, listen. Is it all right if I come by tomorrow and take this kid to the park? Oh, sure, sure. Can yeah, I do that? He would love it. Let me all just right. put him in for a little bit. I gotta get going, because I, uh, I gotta check on the health club. All right, listen, thanks for the, thanks for the t-shirt. You're welcome. Say bye, Dad. Bye. Bye-bye, big boy. Big boy. <laughs> really welcome home. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. You are such a lucky boy. You have such a good dad. Yes. <laughs> you know, you're so precious to me. You know that? Yeah. Oh, I love you. Yes, I love you. I love you very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would never, never do anything except what I thought was right. I hope you never doubt. 